All right, new voice meter update. Deal with how my mic sounds for now, but I haven't done anything with my setup yet, so I'm just gonna do it with you live. And we'll do it with banana, and then potato, I'll just show you what's kind of new for potato at the very end. But if you can understand banana, then you can more than likely understand everything else. Um, before you do anything, uh, this is on the, the, um, the oldest test build, I guess, or whatever, December test build. Um, the recording devices still do not, uh, start at 48,000. So just come in here and change these all to two channel, 24 bit, 48,000. Also, that's something new is there's more channels now on recording devices, which is kind of cool. But I'm going to do this real quick, and then be right back. Okay, and unpausing. This is every new voice meter recording device, and I have changed them all to 48,000. And now we can begin. So you can exit out of this. Um, all the playback devices start at 48,000, so that's fine. Banana now has <coughs> a 64-bit version. So... Might as well open that and I will just reset this. All right, and you got a default voice meter here. Um, with the new introduction of Veo extensions for banana and regular, you will have to go to menu, Veo extension license, and purchase the Veo extension. It is free though, right now. If you buy it, uh, you gotta buy it, and then right before you purchase, you can use the code Veo test. Um, so V A I O test, all uppercase, one word, and you can get it for free. So, yeah, you might as well do that. You can test it out for right now. If you like it, then you can buy it when the full version comes out or not um for potato it comes with the license so if you've bought a license then you will already have it so all good there um so yeah there's that so once you buy that you'll get this feature here and here uh and this is probably the biggest thing with this update all right so if i were setting up my uh, voice meter set up with banana then you can kind of see I already have things labeled here with the right click I would left click and here's your new menu I would find my mic under WDM WDM is totally fine for the microphones select my mic here and now it works uh, oh I also see something new here it's using the internal master clock Cool. Okay. So kind of curious how that works, but uh, you shouldn't even have to select an A1 device anymore for this to work. Either way, uh, we're going to be selecting an A1 here, which is going to be my main headphones under WDM if that works for me, which I know it does. And that's going to be my shit Modi 3. So I will select that. And now I can hear myself. And that's because A1 is enabled on my microphone column. And since A1 connects to A1, my headphones, that's why I can hear myself. So I'm going to disable that. And now I cannot hear myself. Uh, I would also just go ahead and disable these. As that could cause trouble in the future. Um, to get my... I'm going to change my microphone so you guys hear me with uh, not so bland. Real quick. Just gonna load. Load my mic settings and there we go. So that I mean this is just mic settings. I'm not gonna go through that, but uh yeah, so now we can start routing some stuff. So Next on the list is Discord. So I'll drag over Discord. 
And I used to put it through a virtual cable, which a lot of people do. Um, but you don't have to do that anymore. So instead of using the cable, I would enable this thing right here, the Veo extension. And let's just quickly go through that. If you go to the playback tab, Veo extension. So here's all the cables that I used to use before. And then here's all the Veo extensions. So one is one, two is two, three is three. And I have these other ones because I have potato installed. So don't mind those if you do not have potato. So I have one, two, and three, meaning I can use one, two, and three for really anything. I could route my Spotify on two or my browsers on three. In this case, we want Discord to go to two. So if we want Discord to go to two, we just have to make sure to have this enabled. Then the output device, we would find voice meter two, which is at the top. Nice. Select that. And I should be able to hear it. I am not going to test it, but uh, at least I don't think there's a way. Hello? Uh, as for the microphone, uh, I'll see if I can test it after I get the microphone working. Microphone, we'll go to the recording tab. I have B1 enabled on my microphone, and you can see that voice meter out B1 is right here. It also says it right here. And my voice moves when I talk on this right hand side. So I will use voice meter out B1 as the microphone in Discord. They've made this really easy to see now compared to before. Uh, we're just looking for voice meter out B1. Click that. And there you go. Now my voice works in Discord. So if I test this. Yep. Now you should be able to see my voice is moving here. As I was testing it. Um, this is where people's voices would move when they talk in Discord. So I know that this voice meter in 2 is working. And it's going right here. So without a cable, I was able to do that. Pretty, pretty damn sick. Um, usually I would put my Rift mic here, uh, but you could use it for another microphone. You could use it for another audio source. Uh, you could use it for whatever you want. So let your imagination go wild there. Um, as for everything else, so virtual inputs, usually common setup is desktop. And then maybe Spotify. Go with that. Also, they have recentered that. I just noticed that is very nice. How long can you type here? Okay, well they just centered it, which is great because before it was not centered. So little little things, but we like it. Um, I'll drag this back over here. So let's get desktop audio to go to voice meter input. So all you would do to do that is go to playback. Then you would find voice meter input right there, very clearly labeled. And you'd set it as your default device. Now anything um, that just defaults to Windows, like game audio, stuff like that, will go right to there. So if I test this, you can see it moving. Um, yeah, so that goes there. Perfect. Spotify, you can do it within the mixer settings. So you just type in mixer into the Windows search bar, press enter, and you will have here. Make sure to play some audio from Spotify to get it to show up. Um, so yours will say default. If I want my Spotify to go to voice meter aux, then I would find voice meter aux in this menu, which is right here. And if I play music, right there. Cool. Say if I wanted the music to go here. Nice spelling. Cool. We'll keep it. Um, say we wanted to go here. We just got to make sure that this is enabled. Without using a virtual cable, we're just going to go. Find voice meter in three, bing bang, play the music. Now it's right here. Really quick, super nice. I'm gonna change it back to aux because that's what I want it on. And yeah, that's that's it for I mean that's a basic setup. Um 
you could route multiple things. I also tested routing. You since this appears on the microphone column, you could put audio onto your microphone column. So if I say I routed Spotify to voice in number one and then played something that was non-copyrighted so I don't get trouble. Uh, oh, whoops. Well, we'll have to mute that. Um, something like this. So I can't hear it. Well, now I can. But now music is playing into the same column as my mic and you guys can hear it. I don't see a reason why you would do this, but you can. Uh, so putting music back to the aux column. Cool. Okay. So now moving on to, so that's, that's all this, uh, these three, uh, these two, which this is nothing new. Um, we have these three new ones down here. So let me give you an example. Let's say you were using B1 as your microphone in Discord, B2 as your microphone in Zoom. So you're using two of these already. Then you needed a third one. You needed to get your mic into a third application separately in, instead of having it use, a, use one of these two. Uh, before, you would have to use a virtual cable on, let's say, A3 or A2 and kind of trick the deal and get it to work that way. Now, what you can do is you can enable the three on here or the two or whatever. You can enable that. Then um, you can... So let's, let's test it with Discord. So if I enable A3 on the microphone here, then that means my microphone's going to A3, which is up here, uh, which is also down here. If you look, it says A3. I can go to the recording column, and it'll say A3 right here. And you can see that my microphone is moving when I talk. So if I disable A3 here, it stops. And I'll continue talking. Yeah, so it stops. If I enable it again, it starts working. So if I were to enable or change my microphone in Discord to voice meter out A3, it still works. It works the same exact way. As you can see, it's moving. Works just fine. So if you're not using A2 or A3, you basically have a free... B3, B4, if that makes sense. You have four virtual mics if you don't use them. Or what well, you could use it for, um, say you had, um, say you wanted to do it with A1. So now it's everything that's going to A1 will go through to voice meter A1 right here. So now Discord's gonna hear everything that has A1 on it, meaning everything you hear basically, which can get, I mean, I wouldn't suggest doing that, but that is a possibility. This could be really useful for like streaming, I guess, or OBS. Um, yeah, kind of cool, but it's just more virtual microphones just using the A1 through three. It's kind of cool. Um, and that is basically it for banana. I'm pretty sure. I will double check here. Hold on. Okay, so there, there's some more stuff. Um, there's a voice meter preset, uh, preset scene. So I guess you can set presets for, say, you have a scene or a preset for streaming or a preset for just gaming, uh, etc. Then you can store the preset of the voice meter build and then just click between them. You might be able to use it on macro buttons. I'm not sure on that right now, but um, oh yeah, command preset, 
recall one. Okay, so yeah, you can. You can use macro buttons to flip between them real quick. That's kind of cool. Um, that's about all I saw that Banana could use as well. Uh, settings are updated on application run. So kind of an, it had an auto save before, but I'm guessing this one's just a little bit better. Obviously, the drivers themselves are way better. Um, so hopefully that solves issues for some people. Uh, there's some shortcuts. You can use like Control M to open MIDI, Control V to open VBAN. Um, pretty cool stuff there. Other than that, um, don't really see anything else that most people might use. Uh, yeah, so we're going to switch to Potato real quick and I'll show you what's on there. All right, so here's Potato. Uh, bear in mind that I have not touched this at all, so I'm not even going to change it right now. But either way, so Potato users, uh, everything's about the same from Banana. Obviously, you have four and five, uh, four and five. You got more here. Um, the Denoiser, I, I think there were some updates in here, but uh, the Denoiser got a voice modeler. Um, you can really mess with this. So, for example, uh, leave if I were to let me see if I can hear myself with this. So, if I, uh, if I turn this, I can make my I can make my voice sound lower. Or I can make it sound higher. It's like a voice modulator kind of deal. Um. um so yeah. yeah. And, and there's some, some presets, presets that you can mess with. You can't change them, but you can mess with them. So that's under the denoiser, and you just right-click. Then you can also send your friend settings. This is also on Banana, but uh, you can send all this stuff. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and have fun with the Veo extensions. Peace.